All right, you guys, today we're gonna go over setting up your Binance account. Make sure you use Binance USA. So with Binance, you're able to buy altcoins. Usually I just uh, stick to three coins and the, um, I use the, I buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. And those are usually just the only coins I stick with. But now that I wanna buy an altcoin, I'm gonna have to go to a, a different, uh, you know, exchange, which I'm going to use Binance because right now um, Coinbase doesn't have the coin I want, and that's Cardano ADA. So, anyway, um, Binance takes a while to set up and to get verified. So did Coinbase, but Binance is, seems like it take a lot. It's taken a lot longer to get set up with Binance, and I think it's taking a lot longer right now just because. Everyone's trying to get in the market, and right now we're in uh, February. Today's February 26th, 2021, and everyone's going crazy right now to get into the uh, market for uh, cryptocurrencies. So, anyway, <clears throat> so this uh, coin that I'm looking at right now is Cardano and ADA. I want to get it, so I actually bought some already, but. Um, that coin is pretty much a coin that I'm pretty sure is going to take off. And it has the, the guy who's created that coin uh, actually did work with um, the cre they both. He helped create Ethereum. Anyway, so what I want to do is I want to show you how to get verified. And then we'll set up the show you how to set up your bank accounts, uh, your bank account. Or you can use a debit card or you can um, wire transfer. Anyway, so we're going to go right here. So once you've initially got set up, you're going to be able to go up, to, go up here to your email address and then just go down to identification verification. So you're going to go down here and then you're going to see it's going to pull up your basic info and that's going to give you um, your identification verification steps that you got to go through. Your first steps are pretty easy. You can get that done probably within a day. It only takes a day to get that done. And that's just your basic uh, verification and then once you get a check mark you're good to go and you can see what the criteria are here you can read that on your own the, but then your advanced verification is can take a while it, it, it can take a while just trying to get your um, your facial verification done it keeps it kept rejecting me I probably had to do it at least eight to ten times before I could get my because you've got to put your head up close and your face up close into it and you'll see when you go to do it but that takes a while once you get that once you do get it to send and just keep trying and keep trying because it's gonna it it'll keep rejecting it and keep rejecting it saying that it failed so because you, you have to put your mug up into the screen how they want it to be with it to sitting perfectly anyway so that takes a while just to do that part once it gets sent off it's going to take them a, a while to verify and like i said right now everyone's trying to get into the crypto space right now so it might even take longer it took me almost almost a month to get verified i mean after i got everything done that includes the advanced verification and the cash account the advanced verification actually took a long time serious because it took me forever to get my my face in the screenshot how it needed to be but once it you get it perfectly then it sends that away to <clears throat> Binance for verification for the proof of address and, gov and your government ID and then you move down to your next so then it'll give you a check mark there for verified then you move down to your cash account verification and that takes some time also so but anyway so those take it, it it took almost, a, I think, a month and a week to get verified, to get everything verified and ready to go. Once you're verified and ready to go, then you can move down to this uh, part right here. And if you try to skip, like after you do your basic verification and your advanced verification, you try to skip down here like I tried to skip down here, it won't let you do it. You can go into it, but then it'll reject it after, after you fill everything out. So after done, you get verified, everything's good to go. Now you can go set up your bank account. And there's three different ways. So you just go down to your uh, payment management, click on your the manage uh, tab. And then you're gonna see right now, I have mine set up as a debit card. And with any debit card, you're gonna have a daily limit. Your daily limit, your daily limit 
is a thousand dollars. So, and that's with the debit card. If you don't want to use a debit card, and you can see right here, uh, I have eight hundred and sixty-six dollars and thirty cents left. So you can use you can only spend up to a grand a day if you have your debit card linked to it. Okay, and then it comes with some also the five to ten days before you can even I think it's five days with the debit card before you can even like uh, uh, transfer any any crypto or anything like that or take any money out or anything like that. It does a five day hold, a five to ten day hold. Um, anyway, so if you don't want that limit and you want to be able to spend more, right now it doesn't matter to me because the, the card. Cardano that I'm buying, I'm not spending over a thousand dollars right now. Cardano, I've been buying it since it was at thirty-three cents. I think as of today, uh, February twenty-sixth, February twenty-sixth, twenty twenty-one, it's at uh, like a dollar and eleven cents. So even if it's right now, it's still fairly cheap. I think that thing is going to skyrocket though. The Cardano, anyway. So what you can do is go to, if you don't want that limit of $1,000 and you want to spend more money, all you got to do is, you won't have this at first, so it'll give you the, it'll probably pop this up right here when you first come in. So you'll be able to select which one you want to do. You can do the ACH, which is for quick transfers without a fee, and that's just tying your bank account to it basically, and then you're able to... Um, you can move more money around other than having that thousand dollar limit. Say if you wanted to buy a whole Bitcoin for whatever it is right now at forty seven thousand dollars, you could use that your account to buy one whole Bitcoin. Right now, I'm just buying um, in uh, you know just uh, fractions of shares anyway. Other than the Cardano, because Cardano is only a buck. But if I'm buying any Bitcoin or Ethereum, well. Well, yeah, basically Bitcoin. I'm buying Bitcoin in, you know, a fraction. But Ethereum, I can buy a full share. And then, of course, with the Litecoin, you can buy still full shares. Because those, are, those aren't over, you know, into the $20,000, $30,000, $40,000 range. They're, you know, between two, two, two $300 to what is uh, Ethereum is like at 1600 or something like that. So you can still buy full shares of that. Um, unless you got a lot of money, then you can, of course, you can buy your Bitcoin, a full Bitcoin. But you can use this right here, the ACH, so you can move bigger, you know, much more money, um, bigger blocks of cash. And then this debit card one, which I've set up for mine, is just for quick, small sums, deposits only. So you're able to deposit up to $1,000. You can... You can only buy a thousand dollars worth of coin each day, and then your domestic wire. This is for even bigger, larger sums of money. If you're going to be pushing, you know, I don't know, hundreds of thousands of dollars over there, um, instead of just like the thousands of dollars, what you can, you know, with the ACH, you can do hundreds, of thousands, of, like up to I guess millions over here. But that's the, it's uh, better for large sums withdrawals within the U.S. And then there are uh, wire fees that apply. And even with your debit card, there's um, little fees also. But this one's saying right here for the, the ACH, you don't have any fees. That's how, you, that's how you'd set it up. So if you clicked on here, it's a um, Binance U.S. uses Plaid to link your account. And then you just go down here, gives you the description of, how secure they are, the privacy, hit continue, and then you would just go in here and you would link your account. If you had Chase, you'd put your user ID and your password in there, and then you'd go from there. But you guys, that's how you do it. Um, hope you like this video. Subscribe, share, and then uh, thanks for watching.